Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Neff from Neff's Tech. This day we're going to be checking out this 10 to AC 2100 dual band gigabit Wi Fi router. This thing has eight, count them, eight antennas. And you know what they say the more antennas, uh, the more powerful you are. Man, this thing is so freaky. It looks like an arachnid on steroids from space age days, uh, War of the Worlds. Yeah, this thing's pretty freaky, and it's definitely 100% Chinese. Tenda is a Chinese company built from the floor up starting in 1999. This is the first time I've ever heard about them. And the only reason I can think about them is, or remember them is this freaking creepy router. Suddenly the price came down to about 70 bucks. So folks, I had to take a look at it. I absolutely had to take a look at it. There's some really interesting things on here. Like, uh, oh, IPv6, yeah, mm hmm remember when we were all supposed to switch over to that? Mu, 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 I have no idea what that is, ghost, go, ghost busting, I ain't afraid no ghosts, and uh, it has an app, it definitely has an app, yeah, so all of that fun stuff, but this thing is so Chinese that it'll immediately send the great Pooh Bear all of your information, I'm sure, so I'm sure you all recall the issues with China where all of our information technically goes to China. There's probably a back door on this thing. I don't know for sure, of course, but there's uh, possibly a back door on this thing that literally gives China all of your information. And that's just the way things go these days, because if you are within China and if you don't help the security of China, you're, uh, yeah, it's, it's a different world over there. The back is very no-nonsense, no, nonsense, no uh, interesting pictures. Looks like we have no USB on this thing, but does it really matter? Does anyone actually use it? Here we have it advertised as the AC23. I've not seen the 10 or the, uh, the 8. It should be said that this is AC. Let's test this power compared to other units. Oh, wow, check this out. I mean, it looks like I've... It's different. It's different. Whoa, whoa. Okay, look at all of these. Oh, Colonel. Yeah, it's kind of intimidating looking, eh? Well, this is interesting. This is the only router I've had so far that actually gives me a Cat 6 cable. The rest of them only give me Cat 5V. So I'm definitely a big fan of the acid wash on this thing. I don't get my fingerprints all over it like I do with all the D-Links and TP-Links. seems like I got a little bit of a ding there early on in the game, but I don't think it's anything anyone would notice. Now, one crazy thing about this is that uh, it only has three outputs for network usually these suckers have four at the very minimum but i guess it'll get you by you got your power you got your reset and that's where you hook in your internet of course you got some speed holes down here at the bottom if you want to peg it into the wall and yeah here's how it looks all right time for the moment of truth let's do a speed test on this sucker now over on the right i got two uh, ax wi-fi pcie card uh antennas those things are so close i definitely am going to be able to get the best connection between these two units now let's see what i can do if i can get 30 megabytes i will be one happy camper i'll tell you what bobby all right for any of you new here this is the battle station my alexandrian backup is on the left my uh work and play system is on the right i'm gonna do a transfer line of sight like you've seen and i'm expecting 30 megabytes a second so let's see how she does so this thing's really bouncing up and down, but I'm not too sad about the overall transfer speed. It's bouncing between about 10 and 30. Could be better. Could be worse. But man, with all those antennas, I would have thought that this thing would have been like over 9,000. Not today, Galvatron. It's interesting that it lowers and raises like that. I've never seen that before in a router. Huh. Well, at least it got the thing transferred at a good speed. Am I happy with it? Yeah, I'm happy with it. Is it worth 70 bucks? Yeah, it's worth 70 bucks. It's not worth 120 though. So if you could get this thing on sale price, I'd definitely recommend it. But there's still some more tests that we got to try out. Hmm, my internet speed seems to be a little bit slow today. Normally I can get 150 download. I wonder if that's my provider or if it's just me. Now I gotta say the only reason why I'm including this is because everyone always asks for this in every router review, even though we all know it generally doesn't actually reflect on how fast the network speed is. It just potentially shows you how fast your internet speed is. Next up, we're doing a hardwire test. 
I should probably talk a little bit about the lights, though. You get the system, the WAN, the LAN, the Wi-Fi, and the T. That's Mr. T. When you get that power, you're not a fool. Seriously, though, even the instructions don't say anything about it. All it says is that it's reserved. It's reserved for something. I'm pretty sure, actually, it turns on when Winnie the Pooh is actually listening to you. You know what I mean. Holy cow, kids, hold on to your hat. 110 megabytes a second. That's a hard wire transfer. Okay, so to give you an idea of comparative speed, if I transfer with a USB 3.1, it transfers at about 30, 40 megabytes a second. If I transfer with an M.2 external card USB to USB-C, I can get about 300 megabytes a second. So that's pretty good. I gotta say, that is really good. And uh, I'm impressed with this for, what, 60, 70 Canadian rupees? Not so bad, not so bad. All right, folks, let's take a look at Wi-Fi Analyzer to see what band this thing decided to put itself in. And I got to say, it's this thing's after my heart. It actually put itself in band uh, one through three. And man, it is not crossing anything. I can't tell you how many routers that I've managed to get that uh, are this good. I think this, this, maybe it's just luck, but it put itself in the best available spot. Now, RS over here is uh, definitely out for itself. Man, it's it's crossing so many streams, and uh, yeah, if you get more bands, you get more speed, of course. Let's check out the 5G, and uh, yeah, we're sharing, we're sharing 36 to 50. Why wouldn't it just put itself over here? There's nothing there. Put yourself there, not here. What's going on? And I can't believe this. I don't see this too often, but look at that. I got 5G stuff taking up different areas within the arc. Channel uh, 3 to 42. That's new. I've never seen that before, huh? So as soon as I plug in this unit, it automatically starts spitting out Wi-Fi. I don't seem to have any problems. There's no app to get it set up. But when I want to get it set up, I have to go to tendowifi.com. Let's go through the tutorial here. Dynamic. And then here we'll put our password. Four, five, six. Okay, there. Let me go. Okay, now that's it. Bingo, bango. I, I'm all uh, set up. That's it? You're not going to let me in to see any particular settings or anything like that? What's going on here? Come on. This is so anticlimactic. Oh, wait. I got to switch Wi-Fi. Duh. So here we go. We're rolling. This is what we got. We get the internet. We got uh, the router. We got the connection. I'm still not seeing any information on an app for this thing yet. Yeah, I was wrong. There's an app on the store. The Play Store. Probably the uh, Apple Store, too. Log in here. And here it shows us exactly what's connected. Oh, we can log in. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to give you my uh, Google, Facebook, or Twitter in order to uh, log into my router. No, that's not happening. That's very cute. That's very cute of you. Oh, hey, we can get a USB if your router has a USB port. If not, oh, hey, yeah, let's check it out. Crypto browser, yeah. Let's make some money while we're doing this. Got some advertisements on the bottom of the page, making me some crypto money with that. Yeah, oh, this is what I expected to see. That's right, this is exactly what I expected to see. That's hilarious. That's what I expected to see on the box, actually. Okay, tool Ooh, that tools menu looks exactly like it does in the TP link. That's interesting. So, of course, here you can uh, control everything, your internet info, Wi-Fi, name, password, and do reboot, uh, black blah 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 so yeah you get the idea all the settings that you can get on the router you can get on this app so let's check out uh, the router settings your internet settings your wi-fi settings you can get a schedule wireless repeating channel bandwidth that's interesting okay that's where you can change your bandwidth and whatnot and your channel okay but yeah we'll set this automatically it's on channel one Guest network, you can turn that on and off. We got a little bit of parental control so you can keep little Tommy away from his furry prawns. PPTP settings, yep, all that fun stuff. IP version 6, the thing we were supposed to have all transferred over to by this point. And yeah, bandwidth control. IPTV, we can disable it? Huh, this is interesting. Sleep mode, Mac filtering. There's no ghosts on this one. Where is the ghost icon? I ain't afraid of no ghosts. System settings, you got the LAN settings, DHCP reservation, LAN settings, time, backup, firmware upgrade, I always love to see that. Yes, please, up 
Well, that's interesting. After this update, we seem to have uh, internet speed in real time. So let me start up a YouTube video over here, and we can see it picking up in real time. Okay, that's pretty cool. I uh, I really like that. I actually I think that's this is the only router that actually shows you how it is in real time right here. That's interesting. So yeah, at the end of the day, is kind of a freaky deaky, arachnophobic, crazy looking router. Actually, from this side, it almost looks a bit crab-like. Anyways, does it perform? Yeah, it performs. It'll do what you need for the money. I wouldn't pay 120 bucks for it, but I definitely pay 70. 70 Canadian rupees, 30 megabytes a second, kind of interchangeably up and down, but still, it's good enough. The thing is that you gotta w wonder is. Uh, well, you remember what the America's problem, I guess Canada's doing it too, getting rid of Huawei because it's connected to the Chinese government. You see, the only reason it's connected to the Chinese government is that if you're Chinese, then you're legally obligated to help with their security uh, center. And if you operate within China, they can always just make you disappear if they don't uh, particularly like what you're doing. Unfortunately, that's, uh, that's how she works, but hey, that's how she goes. I'm not saying this actually really sends anything back to China, but mm, maybe that's what's happening with the extra 50 megabits per second that was missing on the test. Send an info to China hashtag. I'm just kidding. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me. Net from Nestack, but like and subscribe, etc. Have a good one, folks, and take care of each other.